What's the average life expectancy increase for those who have run a four minute mile? To address that, let's take a look at this recently published study that looked at longevity of the first 200 people to run a sub four minute mile. But first, note that these data are exclusively in men. What about the data for women runners? To date, the fastest mile run by a woman is about four minutes and eight seconds. So unfortunately, we'll have to wait for that story in a future video. But jumping into the data for men, on the y-axis, we've got the proportion surviving on the y-axis, plotted against years since achieving the sub four minute mile on the X, with up to 70 years after the, running the initial sub four minute mile. And then there are two groups, the runners in red and the matched general population in blue. In terms of survival, we put up a black line at 0.5 survival. This is a time when half the population has died and half is still alive. And then when looking at the shaded red region for the runners, we can see that that's shifted to the right when compared with the matched general population. In other words, there's, there's a significant increase of 4.7 years in, for life expectancy relative to the matched general population. Now, these data are in line with a previously published study, which we covered on the channel, and if you missed it, it'll be in the right corner, where men with a peak exercise capacity of 10 to 12 mets, so this is a VO2 max of 35 to 43, which were defined as fit and highly fit, lived an average of 4.5 years longer relative to people who were in the lowest 20th percentile for VO2 max. And for people who were classified as extremely fit, so the top two percentile, they lived an average of six years longer when compared with the lowest 20% for VO2 max. All right, that's all for now. If you're interested in more about my attempts to biohack aging, check us out on Patreon. And before you go, we've got a whole bunch of discount links that you may be interested in including discount links for epigenetic testing, NAD quantification, or microbiome composition, at-home metabolomics, at-home blood testing with CyFox Health, which includes ApoB and GrimAge, green tea, diet tracking with chronometer, or if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with the website, buy me a coffee. We've also got merch. So if you're interested in wearing the Conquer Aging or Diet Trying brand, as I've got on here, that link and all of the other links will be in the video's description. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Have a great day.